Welcome back to Grounded. Sorry that I missed you all last week, but I've been very busy here in Grounded despite not being able to get an episode last week. And uh, as we approach here at the top of the Fallen Log, you can probably see why. Um, I have been uh, significantly expanding our zipline network. And uh, before I got this next tower done, I wanted to bring you guys in on the journey. Um, I've uh, I've continued to replicate our zipline tower design elsewhere uh, in the yard, mostly still along that rock retaining wall. Um, but I've uh, uh, this is the first tower here that I am building uh, that is in another part of the backyard, and essentially I wanted to have another spot for us um, or to rather create a spot for us uh, to start um, having some dedicated areas to gather resources. Um, and uh, this this area in particular, uh, we are going to use for gathering sap. Um, now, we're not going to be doing that right at this tower uh, here immediately. Uh, this tower is basically just to get us over to this part of the yard. Um, and then I think what we're going to do is create a little bit, I, I've mentioned the possibility of doing this before. I think that we're going to create a little bit of a base, a structure or something down here inside of this fallen log. I just think that that's too cool of a possibility to pass up. Um, and so it's it's been difficult for me to kind of keep up with the sap needs occasionally. Um, and so I'm just going to try to create a ton of sap collectors. And uh, yeah, have them like lining the inside of this log somewhere. And uh, we will have have an area where we can uh, just have some platforms easily be able to run along there, grab all the sap we need. Um, and then we can use this tower to get on out of here. Um, so right now I have this zip line right here, which is how we kind of come in and out. This is the zip line we rode in on. Um, this is not going to be normally how we connect to this tower from afar. Uh, this is just going to be, I've, I've even got this little notch kind of cut out of the floor. Um, this will be how we, uh, connect down into our main sap collection base. Um, but then we will have our main, uh, uh, actual zip lines up here. Now, it appears that I've run out of grass. Um, so we are going to have to go bring some more grass up before I get our actual zip lines, uh, in place. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and you guys can get, uh, get a laugh out of the process that I've had to do, uh, in order to actually get, um get resources up here in order to build. It looks like we're still doing all right on stems, uh, but grass is uh, unfortunately out. Um, but yeah, uh, this is the current project. I'm going to drop some pine cone off uh, since I did get uh, that up. Uh, I, I just went on a big pine cone gathering mission. Um, and uh, in order to get this pallet down from here, I'm actually going to just recycle it and grab all the materials. There we go. That lint rope is always the hardest part to find when I do that. Um, and then we'll just jump through this door since I'm out of acorn tops at the moment. And I don't know why I'm going to the top of the tower. We will uh, take the zip line back on down and I can also take this as an opportunity to show you the updates that I've made to our zipline tower design. Um, so last time I was kind of uh, expressing some displeasure uh, with uh, some of the finer details of our tower, and uh, I've I've worked it all out. So up here, I think I've tweaked a little bit of some of the stuff on the roof line, and more importantly, I've added a lot of lighting. Um, so we've got a bunch of sap sconces. I've added some uh, plant lamps here as well. Um, this place is lit up very nicely. Um, it looks really cool at night. I'm very happy with it. Um, 
I, I think last time we left off with me basically saying I was going to lower the roof and uh, have these kind of triangular window stems um, supporting each corner. I've ended up really liking the look of that. Uh, so I'm now really happy with the roof. And this right here is our biggest change. So you guys were seeing a little bit of kind of this empty room at that previous tower. Um, but essentially, I was kind of forgetting one of the main things I wanted to do with these zipline towers whenever we were originally designing them last episode. Um, I wanted these to also serve as like little outposts uh, so that, you know, if you were out and about uh, and basically needed some shelter and, uh, it, uh, you know, uh, needed either a place to craft, a place to cook, what have you, um, that you could have these as... Um, you know, emergency shelters or, um, you know, a place to just rest a little bit. So the kind of top layer here, um, I think previously maybe we had a staircase here, uh, but the top layer here now is just this little room. Uh, we've got a bed. We've got a grass side table for storage. Um, you know, I love, you guys know me, I love the wasp paper lamp so much. That's, that's kind of, uh, one of our two light sources in here, the other being another of the plant lamps. Um, we've got a roasting spit for standard cooking, uh, a workbench for your more advanced crafting items, a cookery for advanced cooking, and then some fresh storage to be able to attempt to keep this place stocked with food. I'm going to try to keep all of my towers stocked with food if possible. Um, so right now I've got a couple meals uh, stocked in all my towers and this one also happens to have an aphid roast. Um, so that's not all uh, here in the bottom. Oh, and uh, this, this is a look at the underside. Um, I, this is where I was really unhappy last time. Um, basically, I just was able to continue the spiral staircase look uh, as far as the underside goes. Um, all the way until you hit that platform, and I think this looks significantly better. Um, but yeah, here in the bottom of the tower, we've got a, um, a, uh, dew collector, uh, so that there's always water available. And then I've also kind of tucked in a water container, uh, to carry even more water so that we can always make sure we are hydrated if we have one of these towers available. Uh, the outside has a bit more lighting around, um... And, uh, yeah, that is basically the update to our zipline tower. So, let's go ahead and take advantage of this and sleep through the night. But that is what I have been working hard on in the meantime. And, uh, just to... Taking a look. Show you a little bit more. We've got a whole nother tower built right over here. And it's out of my render distance, but right about there, placed. there's actually another tower. So I have been I've been working very hard trying to expand the zipline network. Um, but since it is such a repetitive process and requires just so much grinding for resources, um, I have not just made, you know five episodes of building zipline towers. Um, I've also added, I, I did find one spot here in our base where just a couple scaffolds high, um, I can add a zipline that basically brings us right to our warehouse. Uh, so I at least temporarily have this hooked up for now. Uh, this is ugly. We're obviously gonna make this look better at some point in the future. Uh, I just needed something for convenience. Um, that would bring us back to our base. Uh, so I don't know if this will be a project for today, but it is a project on the to-do list. Um, so that is that. Um, let's see, what are we doing? We need grass. Um, yes, so I think also let's go ahead. I want to make sure I keep my count of pallets uh, accurate. Uh, let's deal with our ever-present fire ants, and I'll go ahead and get rid of this apple to hopefully keep the uh, draw down. 
Um, but yeah, while I've been working on all these towers and things, I have been trying to cycle through um, uh, the uh, muscle sprouts. Obviously, it looks like right now I am ready to get another batch going. Um, I'll worry about that later, but uh, I've been doing a pretty good job at um, continuing to grow our supply of muscle sprouts. Um, but let's see, right now, I really need to repair our mint mace, because that thing has been getting some heavy use, and I think I might as well repair our termite axe, because I've been using that quite a bit as well. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. We need a good spot to fill up another pallet of grass. Let's just do that right here. So I do have basically a prepared um, list of all of the resources that I need to build a complete zipline tower. Um, and I think that I'm gonna actually try to make a um, an abbreviated like bonus episode uh, that will essentially just be a tutorial on how to build a completed one of my, uh, fancy little zipline towers, uh, for those of you who might be interested in replicating the now complete version, uh, yourselves. Um, but right now, that, uh, that completed kind of ingredient list does not do me a ton of good because the version that I'm building there on top of the log, it requires a decent number of modifications since it is being built there on top of the log. Um, I'm having to be a bit flexible with my design. Um, I, the, the core structure of it is the same, but uh, really it's it's kind of the, the base um, is a little bit different since it is being built on an angle and uh it's it just kind of makes everything a little bit a little bit strange and uh that is ultimately the reason why unlike the rest of my zipline towers that i wanted to get you guys in on the process uh, especially since after we finish that tower um we'll be building um, kind of an additional, an additional base, uh, below the tower for collecting our sap. Uh, but since I use so much lighting in the towers, um, ultimately an excessive amount of lighting, honestly, um, I, I will admit it. Uh, but it does look good. Um, since we do have uh, an admittedly excessive amount of lighting, uh, we, we use a lot of sap. Um, and there have been other projects, uh, where we've needed a lot of sap in the past, and we've only got a couple of sap collectors set up at the moment, um, and so we, we need better. So that's, that's why we're kicking this project off today. Um, there's going to be a few other places after this where we're going to need to do a similar kind of project. Um, there's other resources that, whether they're for this tower or for other, um, other building projects in the future, uh, we just need a lot of a particular resource. And so setting up a particular facility to gather that resource is just going to be necessary. Um, but yeah, so in order to get grass all the way up there, we have to basically uh, parkour our way up the log while moving a pallet. Um, there we go. I'm going to basically give us a little checkpoint by actually placing it down here. Um, so yeah, I've, I've gotten reasonably good at this, but this has been a very, very tedious process, especially because the, 
at least the standard version of my tower takes a total of five pallets. And I have a feeling that this version, just due to how a few of the changes that have been necessary, um, might take more. All right, we got past the hard part there. We are good. Um, so yeah, that that is that is our path that we have to go with these pallets. If we're not bringing pallets up, if we're just trying to get normal resources, I can take the zip line now. But you can't zip line while re uh, relocating a pallet, as far as I know. It's it's not worked for me. There may be some kind of trick, but uh, yeah. Um, oh. I did not realize that that blueprint still existed. Is there one like that on the other side? I don't think so. Um, okay. So yeah, like acorn tops, for example. We need to go down to the oak tree and get some acorn tops. Um, that will be a lot less tedious to go do because acorn tops I can just carry in my backpack and... Uh, I can then zip line right back up here. Um, but anyway, let's get back to building here. You guys basically saw this when we were designing the place. We want to extend our top platform here. And we need to get the flat sides as well. Hello? There we go. And I would like that blocked off as well. Okay, so that gets us our top platform. And let's see, I may as well get our supports in for the roof. So I'll get those in and then we can get the zip lines in place. All right, well, I'm also running out of stems, uh, so I'm not gonna fill in all these blueprints just yet uh, because I at least wanna get, make sure I have enough stems uh, to get one more zip line. So I would like to replace the zip line uh, that is connected down below with one up here so we can have this properly connected. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get this to snap to grid. Um, this was a little bit of a trick, I guess, um, that I was finding down below. Although, yeah, it really doesn't. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, just to get a little bit more regular placement, if I actually do the snap to grid uh, with the zipline anchors. Oh, I don't have any silk rope on me. How is that possible? Um, then uh, if I do the snap to grid, then uh, yeah, I just get more regular placement with my zipline anchors. So um, yeah, I can do that. I, I apparently I'm out of silk rope, so I can't actually finish that anchor off. Um, but yeah, we're out of weed stems anyway, so I'm just gonna have to bring another pallet full of stems up here. Um, so I'll go get that pallet of stems as well as a bunch of silk rope, and uh, then we'll be able to carry on with the top of this build. So before we go, and grab the uh, the new stems and the silk rope. Um, I figure that we can also go get the acorn tops, um, and that means I get to show you a little bit more of the zipline network. Um, so that's the tower that you guys have seen, um, and we're now on our way over here to the second tower that I built. And this one now is how, our, our primary way at least, of how we would Taking get over look. to the oak tree. Um, however, we're gonna go on a little bit of a tour. Um, so I've also got this tower right over here. 
um, that basically brings us all the way to the far corner um, above the pond, uh, right next to Castle Moldork. Um, this will be very helpful. We could literally just put a zipline anchor, like, right, right at the entrance at the castle, um, if we want easy access over there. Um, it also gives us nice, easy access to this part of the upper yard if we want to set up any, like, harvesting area here for any reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, basically it just kind of continues our string of, uh, of zip lines along the pathway. Um, I'm definitely going to set up another one, right probably right around there. Um... And uh, that will then give us easy access to the hedge. Now you'll notice there's another zipline set up here. Um, this way, if we happen to be over in this part of the yard and need to go visit uh, the oak tree, um, I set up a uh, another zipline anchor. This one uh, is just like the, uh, the wall mount anchor um, here at our old... Um, original base and uh, it just delivers us right here to the old base um, and uh, we can walk out here now um, I do you'll notice that this zipline anchor has moved um, that's because I would like to do a little bit of modification uh, renovation if you will to this cabin um, so I, I've got this zipline wall anchor. I really wanted this to be here and be able to connect to that tower. Um, and if, if I do a little hop here, you, you can tell it just is like out of sight and I can't connect it. Um, so I don't know exactly what my plan is, but I, I think we're going to do something to do some changes to allow... For, like this kind of an anchor somewhere around here um, just to take up less space than having that big old anchor sitting right here that was a little bit hard to get in and out of on this tiny little porch um, and have that still connect to that tower uh, that's that's essentially what is going on I think if it was still right here yeah I could connect to that tower but that still takes us right through the wasps, um, and that's an issue. So, it's all a bit tricky. Like, if I got rid of that roof panel, we'd be fine, but I really like the way the roof looks. Um, uh, we'll figure something out. Um, I don't know if that'll be a project for today, but that is- Oh, wait, we need to grab acorns. What am I doing? Um, but yes, uh, renovations are coming to our starter cabin in order to make it connect a little bit better to the zipline network as a whole. Um, so I wanted to give you guys that update um, and don't worry, I will be doing those definitely during an episode. Um, I, I had thought about starting it, but I didn't want to leave you guys out of that process, especially because, you know, that was our very first real base here in the series. I don't want to go making drastic changes uh, without you guys. That just would not feel right. So, um, anyway, I will grab some of these acorn tops and then, uh, head back to the main base, grab a new pallet of stems, and, uh, we can then head back on up to, um, our new log zipline tower. All right, well, I've got us a new stem palette. I've got some new uh, acorn tops. I've got some silk rope, so we should be in business. So, boom, now we can actually use our door. And then let's climb up to the top here. And silk rope, there we go. Let's also get the last of these placed. Excellent. And then I will go ahead and get a few more. There we go. Zipline anchors. Excellent. Now we can 
have these ready to uh, shoot out zip lines to any part of the upper yard here that we so desire. Um, so really, at this point, we just need to throw a roof on this thing, light it up, put uh, all of our survival stuff, outpost stuff, in the uh, apartment section. And uh, this little tower is mostly good to go. Um, I think that I do want to find some way to put some kind of a deck on it. Uh, we're not going to use our pebblet foundations uh, like I've been doing at the other towers, uh, but we'll figure something out. Alright, well there is a roof. Um, I don't know if I have any lighting stuff on me. Let's see if I do. Uh, ooh, I don't have the sprigs. Um, we can at least go ahead and get the blueprints in. And then we'll be able to make a quick trip back home and grab sprigs. Uh, here in just a bit. But we can at least get this all laid out. Looks like I've got most of the rest of what I need. Alright, well there is lighting placed, uh, minus the sprigs. We'll have to go do that later. Uh, let's throw together as much of the apartment section as we can. I'm not sure what all we might be missing here, but this should basically help us get everything that we need, like, on our chopping list. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we need a bed, if I can get this placed without it freaking out. Uh, so, bed created. Uh, our side table is already downstairs. We'll bring that up. Uh, we need our wasp lantern. Um, and I'll just stick that at, like, the foot of the bed for now. We need a campfire. Or, I guess I should say, a roasting spit, which also needs sprigs. We need our crafting bench. That'll do, which also needs sprigs. Everything needs sprigs, my goodness. Uh, a cookery. Um, did I pass it? I did. A cookery under the window. Got everything for that. We need our cold storage, fresh storage. Got everything for that. Perfect. Let's uh, scoot the cookery over just a bit. And I think that's everything that goes in here other than one more light. I think... I think that's the orientation I like this light to be in. Alright, so really, we're just short a bunch of sprigs. Um, the only other thing that we've got to worry about is basically the water stuff that would go downstairs. However, the zip line that we're going to be still keeping down here is going to get in the way of what would be our water storage. It looks like it might be getting in the way of our typical lighting. So we'll have to give that some thought. But let's run this storage up here. So that should go there with our lovely little lamp right on top. And this can get recycled. And we really want... Oh, that's one thing we still need. We need our ladder. 
I do use ladders to get up the kind of last section. Oh, oh, I had it. There we go. Even though I rarely use them, I usually just jump like that. Um, I like to have them as an option. And that should be the proper connection right there that we would like. All right, so now that we've moved the zip line up there, we can finish off the wall down here. Um, let's see, I'd like to copy that wall, put it right there. And that means we can fill in that doorway to make that look nice and clean. I'm trying to figure out how much we want to actually wrap around the building or not. Um, let's see, if I build a dew collector... Location obstructed. Interesting. So I can do it like down here. It's like, I feel like maybe we... We just do like grass and then... Just take some stairs. And do that. So normally we would also have like a an awning around this, but I just don't think that's gonna make sense for this structure. I think instead, I, I think I like the way we're going with this. Um, oh gosh, I don't want to fall. I know I'm really close to the edge here. Um... So if we just do that... And then have just a normal railing... I don't think I have everything I need for a railing, um, but that's fine. We can still put it in place. Ah, there it is. Uh, Oh, except I didn't want curved. I want straight. I suppose here I could... do a... a curved floor. Um, let's see, let's see. And then do... a curved wall. And a curved fence. think I can put it there yeah 
because that goes too close to the wall. Um, but what we can do is that. And we flip it and we put it, we can't put it there, but I can put it like half a block down. which works and let's sleep real quick and we'll see how this looks in the daylight because it is dark that is more like it okay so this this little turn right here is a little bit hazardous um Maybe we do something about that. Let's move that out of the way for a second. Hello. Uh, says you're supporting zero. Are you lying to me? You were lying to me. It's like I could move that there. And then we can copy that to there. We would do that. would need to do that and then that but this is just a bit a bit too a bit too far back um Okay, okay, let me see. Let me move that there. Now I can get to this a little easier. Hmm. Well, if that wouldn't work, we could try doing the bee stinger mount. Like right there. If I did that instead. Then we could change this floor back to normal. Um, let's see, where is the curved floor? So we can do that. Although, actually, this one, I think I would do like this so that that little part matches up. Okay. 
So if we do that, that way he could come all the way to the edge, but the bee stinger would be able to take you down. So we're going to recycle this. We're going to move that there. We're going to move that there. We're going to recycle. Oh, that's not the one I meant to recycle. Um, let me see. Where's my grass pellet? Let's put that back. I think we're getting through this. Um, that we would want to recycle. And instead, we would do this. And we would still put that there. And I think that that would be better. That way you can walk in and go up, or you walk to the side and go down. And you're less likely to accidentally walk out the door of the... Oh, yeah, 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 that would, that would be bad. Okay. I guess the only issue is if you're coming in on this zip line, you are going to not make it in, are you? So, how do we fix that problem? Um, I think that it's better to have the rest of this the way we have it set up. What if I just built it in here? Can I connect to it under that way? I kind of want to try it. I think after all that, that might be our best bet. Okay, so we really just need a bunch of thistle needle for the railing. Um... I guess this is the only thing that we would really want stems for, is so far, this does not have a, a uh, dew collector, um, because I can't put one inside. I think for now, I'm okay with that. Um, so I think we might call it good, and then instead what we're going to do is that we just, we will have our water container, and we'll make sure to come fill this up. Now, lighting, we still need to top off. Let's see, we'll do... Oh, that went weird. Okay. So we've got those lights, and then... I've been struggling a little bit getting a few of these placed. Um, I don't know where I got a sprig from. Oh, maybe one of the things that we already had built had a sprig.
Okay, now why won't you snap properly? Alright, well, this one may just not snap. But that's basically where we would want it. Alright, well... That ought to do, but maybe... Maybe we'll put some of these on the, uh, the zipline entry as well. Okay. Um, ooh, and maybe on the outside that could be nice. Um, and then let me run around to this side. Let's see, I think it's that brick that's kind of sticking out. Uh, can I get like right here? Let's see if that is about lined up. This side's a little easier to tell. Taking a look. I think we kind of got it on the stem, maybe. There we go. I think that's maybe a bit more even. Um. Okay. Well. We need a bee stinger. We need a ton of sprigs. Uh, sprig, sprig, sprig. And that should do it. All right, well, let's terrifying. test out this zip line since technically we have never used this one from the top of the tower. And make sure that everything looks good. And I'd say that we are looking great. It is really funny to me that we're like, we're like just out of render distance. So it looks like our zip line just goes into nothing. Which is actually slightly sad because our tower looks really impressive up on top of the log. All right. Um, so we needed sprigs, um, which I don't have a lot of. So we're going to need to go pick some sprigs. And we needed a bee stinger. Okay. We need 63 sprigs. Oh, and we need thistle needles. The rest of those items that we need are for um, our Burgle quest. Did we need exactly 20 Thistle Needles? We did. Wow, that works out perfectly. Alright, I don't really want to go deal with those ants right now. We're just going to run around and grab all these sprigs. Sprigs are one of those things where we might make a tower to specifically grab them because there is a spot in the yard where there's basically just a sprig field. Oh, I did not mean to drink from our... Hey. Can I, can I please get my third hit in? Hey, chill, man. There we go. Uh, but yeah, there's a spot in the lower yard where there's just like a field of sprigs and you can easily get like m over a hundred in seconds. Nah, he's stuck. 
so that would be a nice little spot, again, just to, like, have a tower nearby. Have a little house, that way we can just zip over there, harvest a ton of sprigs, zip around wherever we need to be using those sprigs. Just incredibly convenient. So, it's that kind of stuff that... Alright, 63 I think is what we needed. Um, yep. Uh, it's that kind of stuff that uh, these projects are going to be kind of what we're doing. Ooh, actually, we need to eat. I think I have, yeah, I've just got some regular roasts in here. Um, I'm going to grab a couple of Black Ox burgers, and then actually, can we make fungus bacho? I need a little bit of mushrooms to make more. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about grabbing or making any more meals. I think that the two Black Ox burgers that we've got and the, uh, the one fungus bacho with, we just cooked will be plenty. Um, I was about to go sleep, but I don't want to spoil the food any more than we need to. So we're going to go ahead and zip on up to our tower. Now that we've got all of our sprigs, that we've got our thistle needles, and uh, we can also drop off this food. Oh, and the bee stinger. Um, and then I'd also like, before we have to sign off for the day, I was hoping that we would actually be able to get started on the sap collecting part of our base. Um, but we're running a bit long here. Um, so I don't know that that's going to be a thing. Um, but I'd at least like to, uh, somewhere down below me right here, uh, attempt to set up a zip line and, uh, see if I can connect it down below, um, and see how that goes, um, as far as, uh, uh, actually utilizing that lower zip line, whoops, uh, Utilizing the lower zip line for um, just access for the uh... oh no uh, access for the sap collecting base. So I'm trying to do too many things at once. My brain can't keep up. Can I? Can I get to that that torch? That sconce. There we go. Uh, all right, everything is lit up up here, and now we are nice and lit up. It looks so nice at night, I think. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. Campfire, workbench. Get another few of these lit up. Oh, 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 and we need to put our food in storage. There we go. Excellent. Um, so, like, maybe it'd be worth putting some lights going up the stairs, but, um, you know, we're not really going to be using this on top of the log all that much. That's mostly just in case we need to access this. Um, but let's see. I accidentally drank some of my water, which I really didn't mean to do, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll at least get this mostly filled up. Um, so yeah, there we go. Now we'll at least have some water here, even though there's not a dew collector. And, uh, I think we should be good to go sleep. Excellent. Alright, so... I feel like it's going to be, like, Don't somewhere around here is where we're going to want our, um, our, our base of, uh, of operations for sap collecting. Because, like, if we can build, like, a structure kind of along this wall, um, 
I think that would be good. We're high enough up here that the, uh, the, the, the ticks and the ants shouldn't be a problem. Um, the moth shouldn't be giving us any issues. I think that this should work out pretty nicely. Um, so let's, at the very least, we're going to throw a zipline anchor right there. And I don't have enough clay on me either. Okay, so we just need to get six stems. Wait, are those ticks coming after me here? Where are they? Yeah, I was gonna say, I haven't ever seen them that high. Because they, they normally stay way down there. Alright, uh, there should be some clay nearby. We'll just dodge all of them for now. Grab some clay. And then we just need a... There we go. That's handy. A nice dandelion to chop. But what I'm curious about is, all right, connect, all right. Okay, it is not too steep. That is good news. Will it drop us off where we fall to our death? Yes, it does. Okay. That is unfortunate. Well... Maybe... I just don't know. I guess we could maybe extend out a half... A half thing of grass here. That might just be what we need to do. I wonder if I can somehow make this work. Okay, good. So, actually, if we do, so if we do, no, that was too far. Actually, we are going to need to do it that whole way. Okay. So if we do that... I don't love that this kind of looks like, oh, I could carry around to here. But I think that is just going to be what is necessary. However... I think that does mean that I could put this up here now. Also, I can even these out a little bit better and put them on the actual bricks, which was my intention. Um... Yeah, so I think, I think that's Take what I want to do. Now, I'm also curious if I like scoot this up considerably. Will it still work? Uh, connection blocked. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to aim for the back. There we go. Can I still? Oh, I can still go up that steep. All right. 
this was one thing I was really curious about. Is like how how steep can I make a zip line and it still work? Ooh, but it does not let me up. So yeah, I'm still gonna have to kind of test around with this. Now, obviously, I could still connect it to the top zip line too. That's kind of fun. Um, now, if if I move back and we go more to our original spot, and then and then we connect, I'm pretty confident this will be fine. Yeah, so that works all right. It's just all kind of working out what angles are acceptable. And again, I think that section where we've got it is going to be a little bit more where the... Um, where the base is gonna be but like I really wouldn't I wouldn't mind being able to go steeper so uh, but that's just kind of the limitations of the zipline system um, I really haven't played around with that, that kind of thing too much um, I guess we could also try to have like a lower platform or if we raised this up like considerably higher like if if this anchor actually yeah let me let me try that as one last thing before before we go if i raise this like way up there then we move this forward will it work where oh no cancel that. Can I get up there from over here? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, but not if I fall. Okay, it's like it never happened. Uh, okay, let's see if I can move this back to where we were just testing that more steep ascent. Uh, I think that was probably like right here. But I want to try it even steeper, if possible. So, like, what if we went right here? Does that even look remotely possible? Uh, connection blocked. Okay. It is not. So, I think this is where we tested it before. Alright, so let's see if this works just by raising up that anchor spot. Yes, it does. Okay. And we can still reach it just fine without having to go too far off the edge. And we don't hurt ourselves on the way down. It's just very speedy. Um, all right, well, I am pretty happy with that then. So we can still have it work way out here. Um, I guess I would be the only slight downside is that maybe it would be harder to reach the rope if it's at a shallower angle. Um, but, you know what, there's... We'll, we'll find the sweet spot. I think it'll depend on where we end up actually building our, our base. But, we've got this working, and that makes me happy. Um, so, the, uh, our zipline network just got a whole lot more useful, because from here, um, we're gonna be able to have stuff connect all over the upper yard um i mean look at that tower that is so cool um 
I am quite pleased. Um, so yeah, I think next time we will uh, we'll actually set up our little sap collection station. Um, in the meantime, I may try to get one or two more uh, just regular nice towers done um, here on uh, kind of along our uh, retaining wall. Um, I definitely need to get some more along uh, the, uh, I guess that's the west side of the yard. Uh, yes. Um, if I can start going west with these towers, uh, that would be ideal. Um, that way we can, uh, get better access in particular to the, uh, Everchar spill. Um, that was definitely one of the major things that I want to have access to. So... Um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed seeing some of the updated progress here of our zipline network and uh, the little bit of the modified tower that we're building on top of uh, the fallen log, I would really appreciate it if you've left a like on the video. It helps me out a lot and helps more and more people to uh, discover the channel. Um, other than that, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you will be notified when our next episode goes live building our new sap collection station here in the fallen log uh, other than that i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you all very soon with some more grounded see ya